uh, displays. Uh, VR headsets, yeah, the resolution has to go up, but it will go up and it will continue to go up. And the reason, the reason that VR is almost certainly going to displace traditional displays is because to have real displays, like if you want to cover a certain field of view or a certain resolution, you, you literally have to have them physically there. This, you can simulate. So what, like, once you can get to the pixel density of a real monitor looking straight forward, you can now simulate the pixel you know, of density of a thousand or a hundred monitors all around you. And on top of that, a traditional display, especially larger ones, they're very expensive to manufacture and ship, not because the technology is high tech, it's all commoditized. A large TV is expensive because it's literally just a lot of plastic and a lot of glass in a big box that has to be shipped across the world. Sometimes it breaks, it has to sit on a giant store shelf for months until someone buys it. VR, once VR is commoditized, so, you know, let's say 10 years from now, um, old, let, let's say 10 years from now, the tech from two years prior. It's, you, you'll be able to buy a, a really good VR headset for $99 because it's so, it's, there's not much material to it. Once it's all commoditized, it's going to be a very small display, very small amount of and plastic, very small it, packaging. Keep, you know, miniaturizing like the processors are going to keep smaller and smaller. And smaller. Exactly. It's like, it's like accelerometers before, before the Wii U, or before the Wii and all that. You know, they were like large, yeah. pretty, you know, now, and now, you know, it's sort of as well, cell phones. Well, they're yeah. extremely cheap. Yeah. So I don't know how, I, I think there's almost no way that traditional displays will be around in a couple decades because it, it just won't be feasible. Why in the world would you buy a 60 inch TV that even if it were dirt cheap for that, it's still going to cost a lot to ship it and to make it from raw materials. Yeah, a VR headset is going to be much better and much cheaper and you can take it anywhere. Uh, I used to work for, for Nortel we did a lot of like very high end telecommunications like video conferencing. Sure. And it's, you know, the, the equipment for both the monitors and the actual bandwidth was, you know, extremely high, you know, millions and millions of dollars. But, you know, if, if you have a, a virtual, I mean, that's, uh, before they went bankrupt, they were working on a lot of like virtual reality spaces to sort of save on that, those massive costs where sure. you, know, you have your virtual space. You know, even if it's not that high res, you know, at the, you know, it's still, it's still, better than yeah, exactly. It's really primitive what we have today. It's not, yeah, absolutely. Like, it, it, it is finally good enough that people can see themselves using it, but it's not where we need it to be, right. to, to, be like, to be, to be really mass market. To be really but mass as much as like, the, like you said, it's going to disrupt the whole, you know, TV monitor display set business. Yep. They're going to start turning into that and shifting towards, you know, focusing more effort. Uh, more and more companies are going to focus on the hardware to perfect that and compete. So that's going to drive the whole industry to that direction. Competition is always and, good. And gonna, yeah, gonna force well, the competition isn't always good, but it's always good to have competition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But one advantage with TVs, though, is that multiple people can watch it at once. Sure. So um, why can't people... I mean, it, <laughs> it's all a matter of how good VR has to be. Now, like, right now, people can't really watch all things at once. But like, uh, you know, like Rift Map. Who brought up Rift Map? Yeah, like Rift Max, where people can all be in a theater together. You virtually are watching the same screen in a virtual environment. And you might be like, oh, but you're isolated by these big things. Okay, well, eventually, VR is going to be good enough someday where it's as good or close to as good as real life. And then you, if you want to simulate sitting in a room watching a TV, you'll be able to do that. If you want a 16 and 32K TV. Yeah, that's going to be, I mean, there's a far in the future. Exactly. So, um, you know, people can watch things together in VR or in reality. And how good it, how good it has to be for someone to accept it. That's just, that's a different level for each person. But it will get there eventually. Are you guys considering the consequences of everybody being like sort of isolated from each other? You know? I, I don't think that it's actually isolated in what way? And sort of like, well, if you're wearing the headset all the time, there's no reason to go outside. This is my wife here, basically. So, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it depends on what you're, are you talking about? Physically isolated, maybe, but I don't think socially isolated. If anything, I think hmm. VR is one of the most connecting, potentially connecting technologies we have out there. Um, you know, before where I would have been sitting in my basement on a computer, you know, on, on looking at a computer screen, now I can be in my basement, but actually have a, a simulation of a real life interaction with people with the same, you know, all the body language and and um, and expression and um, everything else that that carries with it. So I, I actually think that VR can connect people in in very strong ways. Uh, now, you, if you're talking about physical isolation, you know, why do people leave the houses? I don't know. That, that, that's a ways away <laughs> to where we're doing that. But you, I guess you will have to ask yourself, you know, why, why, why do we care if we're physically isolated, if we're mentally connected? If you can perfectly simulate reality, why do you need to, you know, actually go see people in real life if you can simulate? What about the, what about the element of touch? 
Uh, well, again, I'm just, this is assuming that VR is going to get to the point where it can simulate that as well. It's, it, VR it can't just be a visual thing. Um, and if, if VR remains a visual-only thing, then certainly it will never replace you know, human touch-based interactions. Uh, but for many interactions, it could. I mean, how do I know you're real? You're just standing there. You could be a hologram. You haven't shook hands or anything. But uh, you know, we're still having a meaningful interaction. So at, at some point, it could be interesting where it would almost be irresponsible to waste the resources to, you know, like why did you need to get on a plane and burn all of that fuel to ship yourself over when you you could have just hopped in your VR headset? Um, right, right, right. There will be certain things that. You know, are still going to need human interaction, but I mean, I haven't touched any of you guys. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I actually did six hours. Oh yeah, okay. Well, well just prove you real, real quick, and just sign my back. Sure. Yeah. I can yeah. use the same for mine. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So th there's one hesitation. Uh, I mean, there's there's some mixed reaction with with the Facebook thing. But one, I think, one bright side to the situation is that they could potentially provide you guys with uh, capital to actually sure. build your own hardware. Uh, well, can you sort of delve into that a little bit? Well, before we were relying a lot on kind of the scraps of the mobile phone industry, and that has been what's driven a lot of this VR technology. Actual dev kit. Oh. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> that, that that that's what's. Uh, been driving this, but it's, it'll only go so far. The, 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 Thank you. No problem. There are a lot of things that need to be done for virtual reality technology that are just not important to the display industry, or to the mobile phone industry. They don't need super high refresh rates. They don't need low persistence. They don't need ultra low latency. It's just not that important for them. So Facebook gives us the resources we need to develop a lot of custom hardware that uses kind of the same base, you know, base technology as a lot of mobile mobile hardware, but also to optimize it and make it make it much better for VR. Consumer version one have these uh, some of that some displays. Or? It'll have a lot of custom hardware. A lot that we would not have been able to do otherwise. Okay. It takes a lot of money to do custom hardware, like hundreds of millions of dollars. Like, you don't so. think, uh, as far as like the custom displays that you were talking about, that like, I can't I can't talk about anything specific. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Um, yes. No, I'm good. Okay. What's cool. the uh, most exciting roof demo that's not at the booth that you were Oh, I don't even know what's at our booth right now. <laughs> um, I, I haven't been. You need to say that. The line is really long. Yeah. Yeah, I, I only, I only briefly seat. stopped by. I actually had to ask someone else where our booth was. I, I, yes. no, nobody really knew, and so I walked by a booth that was showing the rest. Okay, hey, where's the <laughs> <laughs> uh, What? I said I have yet to even try it. I'm just oh, DK2? I've been fun. I turned DK1. I've been fun on it since the very beginning, but I still haven't gotten a chance to actually try it. Becker College has a demo. Yeah, there was no line. Really? Okay. So, um, we, well, we have DK2 downstairs. I was, I was considering getting DK2 because it's getting hard to wait for a consumer version, but... I would suggest you... you I wait. know you won't no, be waiting, but... This, this is what it looks like in the floor. Oh, wow. Uh, and that's what it used to like in the UE4 is a pretty... Oh, wow, well, huge difference. Yeah, UE4 is like... Yeah, I showed it everything. I scrapped everything and rebuilt it. Yeah, UE4 is a Want to check out? Right now? Where's your picture? One that went down yeah. You like you have a computer? No, it's actually on the show floor. Ah. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you. Uh, try to understand. I I was in Japan for a week. Okay. And I flew to LAX, and then I flew here directly okay. from there. So for me, it's three in the morning, okay. and I haven't slept for okay. twenty hours. So, so yeah. Right. So it's not gonna. Yeah. After this, I'm probably going to walk back to my hotel, and I'm gonna. Yeah, I feel the same way. It was QHS who got just left the two minutes to come. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I come while building this. Have you been asleep? No. God. I don't have a long stand right now. Palmer, I just want to quick grab a quick picture of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, it's even harder because I don't use my own. You want it vertical or wide? No, I just test. Okay. I'm going to do a wide one. I prefer wide. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, you're going to have all of us have some pictures again. Yeah, pictures. Yeah, you guys take it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.